Let's take it down to City Center Danbury and the Danbury Railway Museum. Lewis, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, and very excited about it. We got a speech already. We're trying to stage our shot because not only are we going to go live on the air with this uh, Uncle Sam statue dedication, but uh, we have plans on, you know, sharing video with you later in the day or, you know, later in the week or whatever the hell, you know? Super. But, uh, I'm sorry, did you say something? I said super. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is super. You know what? And you know what else is super? I'm super. But... Because these guys are trying to get ready for Danbury Mayor Mark Bowton's fake useless dedication at 2 p.m. They're down here mowing and weed whacking and blowing. The nerve. And uh, Joey Etch and the, the maintenance guy, we're getting into it over where we're going to park the car. <laughs> so we're going to park the car pretty much wherever the hell we want to get our shot. And uh, I'm going to deliver the greatest speech in the history of speeches. And I'm going to dedicate this statue today in a way that you can't even imagine it's going to be the greatest thing of all time and it, it, it's really time for us to give you uncle sam full frontal red and white pants you know we might even pants uncle sam this morning and see what the hell's going on in there you know what i'm saying <laughs> no, no 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 don't do that oh he's got calves like you read about he's got calves like joey etch don't do that looks like he's smuggling you know dwarves in his, <laughs> in right. his calves there or gnomes all right, so are you ready, E? Are you ready for all this? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I mean, my heart's pounding. I'm so nervous. Yeah, it's enough anticipation and build up already. I, I do know, as, as I'm trying to get set up here and I'm coordinating with Joey and, you know, we're, we're barking with the maintenance guy, yeah. that Mayor Mark is messaging me. So I have to figure out <laughs> what, what he's got to say about this this morning because uh, I'm sure it's useless and pointless. Can't wait. This is going to be awesome. All right. Now, what are you going to do between now and the speech at 8.15ish? Between now and the speech, we're going to try and get the maintenance guy to stop doing what he's doing. We're going to move the car into place and use it as a, the Mercury as a podium because okay. uh, cool. it wasn't in the budget, apparently. Shut it down, Mike! <laughs> we asked Mike for a podium, so he said just use your car. So that's how we're going to roll with it right now. You know what? That's using your intuition. I can't pronounce the word, but it's very, yeah, very intuitive. Yeah, yeah, intuitive, yes. That's not even the word you wanted. No, it's not the word. word. Okay, fantastic. I will talk to you on the flippity flop flop. Now we have an I-95 exclusive as we move on down to the Railway Museum uh, down in City Center, Danbury, and my morning show partner, Lou Milano, is there broadcasting live. Yeah, that's right. we got to kind of move this along because, you know, I had to pee for about a half an hour. Did you got to pee-pee, Daddy? Did you got to pee-pee? This is, I can't even explain to you what's been going on down here. First of all, we were making kind of cracking on the maintenance guys, getting ready for Mark's dedication later. Right. You know, th them's was jokes. We're just kidding. These guys are doing an amazing job. So uh, we were just joshing with you all. Uh, they've been, been very nice to us. But I, I, I want to know who Mark thinks he is dedicating this kind of city resources to get the thing ready. For, I, this is like when Obama went to Cuba and they started repaving roads and rebuilding buildings. It's are not, it's not, me? Lou, Lou, it's nothing like that. It's a lot like Cuba and Obama. That's what it's like. Okay. Um, this is actually the intersection of, uh, what is it? Uh, White? What, is it? what road is this? Patriot and Valmer. Uh, White. Whatever. I can't believe White you don't know. Street. Yeah, dude, I just live here, you know? I can't know everything. <laughs> I mean, get real. Are you ready for the real dedication for the Uncle Sam statue? I am so ready for this. Okay, this is an exciting day for the city of Danbury as we officially recognize our Uncle Sam statue. The statue that for many years was one of the mega structures that would welcome the people to the iconic Danbury Fair. I'm proud and excited that we have Sam home. I can't take all the credit for Sam's return. This was a team effort. We are thankful to the private donors who put their own money into the project, those who donated their time, and the mayor and his office for their work. I won't be taking the credit today, although I did talk about it a lot on the radio, and Ethan wrote a lot about it, to suggest we had nothing to do with this project. That kind, that's kind of silly. Without public attention and the push to get private donations, can we really say we ever would have gotten this done without us. I guess we can't say that. Every moment, every project needs a voice. The Ethan and Lou show was the voice. The town crier 
the cheerleader of the project. I guess what I'm getting at is Uncle Sam is here thanks to me. It's my gift to you, Danbury, and I give it lovingly. I think it was the Dalai Lama who once said, there can be no progress without reflection. In Sam, we reflect on who we once were and are able to see a future brighter than the brightest star. That star inevitably has a moon that is capable of sustaining life. We hope to visit there one day and meet our extraterrestrial brothers and sisters. We will mate with these beings and create a super race of interstellar pirates bouncing from planet to planet, pillaging precious metals. What I am saying is Sam, Lama, alien sex, pirates. Abraham Lincoln once said, you go back, Jack, do it again. Wheels turning round and round. That's what we're doing here today. We have gone back, Jack. We have taken Danbury back in time with Sam. We are doing it again. The wheels will turn round and round. The wheels of progress. Today I dedicate my Uncle Sam statue to you, the great citizens of Danbury. But in a more real sense, I dedicate it to humanity the best in all of us. That's what Sam represents. We climb high in the sky on Sam's back. We do it in red, white, and blue. We do it all patriotic-like. Sam, lost my place, is a symbol. We drive that symbol riding Sam like a burro into the heavens with glorious flowing hair piercing blue eyes, strong backs, and healthy, blood-filled genitals. Today, we claim victory. Danbury marks its dominance over the surrounding cities and towns. Today, Danbury takes what is rightfully ours. Today, as we officially recognize Uncle Sam's return to Danbury, we do it with a warning to Bethel, to Brookfield, to New Fairfield, to New Milford, a warning to Ridgefield and to Brewster. Your days are numbered. We will claim your territories righteously and in the name of God. Uncle Sam is here to stay. Danbury is strong. Our union is strong. Let the war horn sound. Let the bells toll for our victory today, tomorrow, and forever. Today I dedicate Uncle Sam to you, Danbury. We must also recognize and attach the name of a great man who this could not have been done without, James Vanderbeek. Thank you. May God bless America. Also that guy on the bike. But more important, may God bless Danbury, Connecticut. Let me finish by saying, you tell them I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. You hear? Hell's coming with me. Finn. <laughs>